Goblin Cast Updates for 2023. Ham hey, dealers, welcome back. In today's cast update, we are highlighting 2016's global successful K-drama, Goblin, The Lonely and Great God. We'll look at where the stars are now, long after filming wrapped. We'll also pay our respects to any cast who are no longer with us, but who had a meaningful and impact to this unforgettable story. So let's revisit and celebrate these stars. Gong Yu. An over 900-year-old immortal goblin has been seeking out his goblin bride, the person who can break his curse. Having served as a general in the Goryeo era, he lost his sister, his soldiers, and household due to the corruption of a wicked eunuch. However, in this lifetime, he meets a cheerful high schooler and a grim reaper. Celebrity fact, our leading star's name is actually Gong Ji Chul, and he uses Gong Yu as a stage name as an actor. Famous for his breakout role in the hit K-drama Coffee Prince. That drama elevated him into a Hallyu star, and he has had continued success ever since. And not just in dramas, but also feature films like the popular and scary Train to Busan. He also had a major guest appearance in the successful drama Squid Game, where fans instantly took notice and recognized the actor in the small but pivotal role, which he will continue in season 2 so fans can catch updates through his special appearances and interviews. Did you know that Gong Yu is also a descendant of Confucius? He revealed this fact at a fan meet in 2017. The actor is known to enjoy cooking and also enjoys his quiet time at home with his cats. Gong Yu is also selective for his work and starring roles, but his choices seem to have been all the right ones for him as he's had success after success. One of his feature films, Silenced, was so impactful in the gripping story which was based on true events. Some of his other recent work included the drama The Silent Sea. He'll also be a main character in the drama Trunk and the release date for Trunk will soon be revealed. He was also cast in a guest role in the upcoming film Wonderland. We look forward to seeing his next works. Kim go -un. Our bubbly and optimistic 19-year-old goblin bride lit up our screens and hearts every time she blew out a candle and summoned the legendary goblin. She was also involved with the Grim Reaper as well, and somehow the three of them all come together to live under one roof. Kim go -un has certainly made a name for herself in the Korean entertainment industry from her first on-screen role in 2012, and after her role in Goblin in 2016, she received more attention in part to some of the global success of the K-drama. Also in 2016, the actress soaked up some sun in Hawaii, and even had a pictorial for a major fashion magazine. In 2019, Kim go -un was selected as a brand ambassador for the famous brand Chanel. As you can see, her career is very successful. She went on to star in King the Eternal Monarch in a leading role opposite Lee Min-ho. Kim go -un is also known for her activeness in environmental issues. She even made donations to causes that were important to her. Fans would see her in the drama Little Women, Yumi Cells, and even feature films. She had some dating rumors circulating in 2022 with a soccer player, but her agency firmly denied the rumors. Her Instagram is actively updated, giving her fans a glimpse into her activities. We can see the actress is thriving and happy from all her updates. Fans will see her back on the big screen for a main role in the film The Unearthed Grave in 2023. Lee dong -wook. A handsome Grim Reaper, who later introduced himself as Kim Woo-bin in reference to the celebrity actor. Our Grim Reaper, who seems to have some bickering conflict with our goblin, but they do end up as roommates. He's also drawn to a vibrant woman, who also seems familiar to him. Goblin gave drama viewers a whole new outlook to the work of Grim Reapers. Lee dong -wook is very established as a South Korean actor. He almost needs no introduction, even with his charming and youthful looks. The actor has been working in modeling since making his debut in 1999. He also leveled up as a Hallyu star for his role in the 2005 rom-com My Girl, but he notably also stood out for his flawless delivery as the main character in dramas like 2011's Scent of a Woman, Hotel King in 2014, Strangers from Hell in 2019, for which he won a dangerously attractive character character award for his work. At the OCN Awards, he was also in the popular Tale of the Nine-Tailed, which had its first season in 2020. It also has two continued follow-ups. 
Tale of the Nine-Tailed, 1938, and Tale of the Nine-Tailed, Season 3. The dangerously attractive star also shares updates to his personal Instagram, where fans can follow his shared posts. It was also known he's close friends with Gong Yu in real life, even before filming Goblin and after. When Lee Dong Wook's talk show was aired, Gong Yu was a guest. Their bromance was enjoyed by viewers who watched Goblin, but even the moments outside of filming were also well-received and admired by their fans. Yuna. The talented actress played a beautiful and larger-than-life personality for the role of Sunny. She is the love interest of our Grim Reaper. At just 16, Yuna entered an entertainment agency and landed a spot in a girls' group, but the intensity of daily training and timing required for idols ultimately ended up not being for her. The star then made her acting debut in a supporting role in High Kick Through the Roof, but we also loved her portrayal of an actress in Queen In Hyun's Van, a time travel-infused historical with a modern-day set romance. She then went on to land further notable leading roles like in Touch Your Heart, which paired her up once more with Lee Dong Wook, as obviously their on-screen chemistry was quite incredible. She also landed a main role in Snowdrop in 2021 and the lead role in the 2023 rom-com based on the webtoon Bora Debora, where she plays the author of a best-selling book. She's also famous as a dating coach. She'll meet our male lead, who is a publishing planner, but he might have some issues when it comes to love. Drama will focus on their interactions and their blossoming love story. She also has a main role in the upcoming film, Wedding Bible. She's also listed as a regular member of the TV show, Ava Dream. <music> Yuk Sung Jae he portrayed a sort of self-directed young Shebel, and he's also the only grandson of the Yu household, whose duties included taking care of and protecting the interests of the Goblin. After discovering the actual identities of the Goblin and the Grim Reaper, the three of them will become strong friends. Multi-talented, Yuk Sung Jae is known for his songwriting, singing, acting, and modeling. He's also a member of the boy group BTOB and the subgroup. He's also released singles via Digital Music Project, and he also made his solo debut in 2020 with Yuka Clock. For a while there, it might seem like the star was inactive, but he was actually enlisted for military duty in 2020 and then discharged in 2021. Before his enlistment, fans were able to see him back on their screens in drama main roles for Mystic Pop-Up Bar in 2020 and The Golden Spoon in 2022. Like his other acting peers, he had many TV guest appearances, but most of the appearances were related to idols. He's also a regular in BTOB's Healing Life and Born to BTOB in 2022. His personal Instagram boasts 3.7 million followers, where photos and video clips are shared of the star's ongoing work and personal moments. We'll be looking forward to seeing his next work. Kim Sung Kyum the gentleman who portrayed our wealthy young Shebal's grandpa was played by actor Kim Sung Kyum. The talented senior actor has a large amount of credits showcasing his supporting roles. The actor was born in 1941, and his most recent work was a guest role in Be Melodramatic. Going back to 2010, he played actor Kim Bin's grandfather in Secret Garden. While there doesn't seem to be anything for 2022 or 2023 to his acting credits, that being said, the talented grandpa actor is now in his 80s. In loving memory of Go Soo Jung, the Korean actress might only have some budding credits to her name, but she had a guest role in episode 2 of Goblin and a supporting role in the K-drama Solomon's Perjury. Born in 1995, the actress sadly passed away due to chronic illness in 2020. She was also known for her appearance in a BTS music video titled With Soul. Go Soo Jung also had a bit part in the Korean movie Search Out, where she was cast in the role of a tenant. We'd like to extend our condolences to her friends and family, and we will continue to honor her memory and enjoy her previous performances. Nam Da Room Goblin has lots of guest and supporting credits to its drama, but actor Nam Da Room has been diligently working and pursuing his acting career, later landing a main role in The Great Shaman, Gadu Shim. Debuting as a child actor, he was often cast as the younger version of leading male characters. In Goblin, he played the young boy that our Goblin met in Paris. As of February 2022, he enlisted for his mandatory military service, and his next drama's release date will be announced soon. And that wraps our update for the main stars of Goblin. How many times have you watched this drama? And who is your favorite character and pairing? Would you recommend Goblin to others? You can let us know in the comment section down below. 